Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my kitchen um, because I'm gonna be doing a bake with me video. I'm so excited, a lot of you guys requested to see one of these and I had the perfect recipe to do because it is the autumn season and Matt and Rowan and I just recently went apple picking and there is an apple pie recipe that's been in my family for like a hundred years. This is my great grandmother Myra's custard apple pie recipe and it's kind of a unique pie recipe because number one it's not quite as sweet as traditional apple pie and number two it uses saltines um, as a really major ingredient and this was like during the depression era and slightly afterwards and so people really worked with what they had so you actually crush up a bunch of saltines to use as layers in between layers of apples and on the top crust and it is so so good my favorite way to enjoy this is in the morning as like breakfast because it is a little bit less sweet this recipe is on my blog so i'll link it down below for you guys if you want just like a written out step-by-step -step version of how to make this but i'm also going to make it in this video today i'm really excited you guys know i love baking this is a really special one to film too because it's just like a part of my family history which is so cool so for this recipe you're going to need eight apples two sleeves of saltine crackers two cups of sugar four eggs, one can of evaporated milk, vanilla extract, pre-made pie crusts, and 12 ounces of water. So the most time consuming part of this recipe is dealing with the apples. So I've got a potato peeler and I'm gonna peel these and then cut them into about a sixth of an inch slices. So I've got all my cut up apples here and then I also keep these peels because if you toss these in cinnamon sugar and then bake them, you can make really delicious apple chips. So our next step is to crush up our saltines and what I like to do is just put them in a gallon Ziploc bag, throw these in here and then I crush them up with my hands first and then I go on with a rolling pin to get it even a little bit finer. So this is the consistency that you're going for. It's okay if some pieces are a little bit bigger like this one, and then there's also just like some dust in here. It gives it a nice texture, so it's not a big deal, but this is about how big your pieces should be. Okay, so next we're gonna make the custard. This is kind of the last piece of the puzzle, and then we assemble everything. This is a pretty quick recipe after you get the apples cut. So the first thing I'm gonna do for the custard is add 12 ounces of evaporated milk and 12 ounces of water into a bowl. I like to use one that has a spout because we end up pouring it into the pie tin, so if you have have one it's way easier to do it that way and then I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of vanilla definitely don't want to skimp on the vanilla for this recipe it's so good a little splashy there. It's just like vanilla everywhere. <laughs> then we're gonna add our four eggs. And our two cups of sugar. I said this recipe was not that sweet, but it does still have two cups of sugar in it. So it's still sweet. It's just not like syrupy apple pie. Does that make sense? Got my trusty little hand mixer here and I'm just gonna mix this. So while we're assembling, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. And then this is the easy part. This recipe does make multiple pies. We could definitely cut it if you only wanna make one. So you're gonna use your pre-packaged pie crust as the bottom crust. You could totally make this from scratch if you wanted to, but I've always found that making pie crust from scratch is a little bit more work than it's worth. And you know, do what you do with a pie crust. <laughs> now we're gonna do a layer of apples, a layer of saltines, layer of apples, layer of saltines until you get to the top. Um, usually it's only two layers. If you have a really deep pie dish, it might be three. And then we pour the custard over it.
I'm gonna pop these guys in the oven for about 50 minutes, so I will see you guys in about an hour for a taste test. Okay, so the pies are ready and they look so, so good. So I'm gonna cut into this and do a taste test. Oh yeah. The consistency looks like it's just right. I'm so excited. That is so good. I make this every single year and every year I'm just blown away by how freaking good it is. I am gonna go eat the rest of this piece of pie. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys wanna make this, again, the recipe will be down in the description. It's on my blog. And while you're there, go subscribe to my email list. It's totally free. Um, I do lots of fun recipes and I post a lot of like <laughs> Rowan pictures and family photos. And I also have a really cool free guide to secondhand shopping. And pretty soon I'm going to be doing a guide to my favorite neutral boho baby clothes. So that'll get sent to you for free if you are subscribed to my email list. So go join. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I love you guys lots and I'll see you all in the next video.